Hi everybody, just a quick video today to look at the concept of inversing between two points, basically determining a distance and a bearing between two Kogo points, what most folks would determine like base level functionality in a Kogo package. And today I want to show you how we would do that in Civil 3D. There's actually a couple different ways we can do it. Uh, the first way we're going to look at is through some inquiry tools. And what I'm starting with is a drawing that already contains a number of points. And what I want to do is determine that inverse between points, between points 1437 and 1260. What I can do uh, to figure this out quickly is we'll come up to the Analyze uh, ribbon, and we'll come down and there is an option here for Inquiry Tool. And when we select that, we can drill down, and then there are a number of different inquiries that we can perform, specifically being point inverse in our particular case. So we'll go ahead and select point inverse, and we can type in the first number here if we do 1437. We'll hit enter, it populates that. I can also grab the ellipsis here such that we can select the other one off the screen. So we'll select point 1260. It automatically populates that. We'll see the other information for those two objects in our uh, um, inquiry tool. And if I scroll down, it should be giving me a bearing and a distance down here. Sometimes it doesn't show that. I've got my screen compressed so that it fits a little bit easier with the resolution. Let me go ahead and just dock this window. And now if we scroll down, we can see our uh, direction and horizontal distance. As a matter of fact, once that's been docked, I can actually move that back up and then uh, it'll continue to maintain that. So as we uh, select our points to inverse between those two points, it shows a graphical line on the screen for our um, convenience to be able to see what we're using. If we'd like to change that, maybe instead we'll go 1438 to 1260, updates on the screen, and then it continues to give us our direction and our horizontal distance. All right. Um, in addition to that, there are a couple other ways that we can do it. Um, we'll look at doing it through the survey database. In this case, we're just dealing with Kogo points. Um, in some cases, these may be survey points if we're leveraging a survey database. So let's uh, put these points in a survey database so we can see how we could do it there as well. Let's go ahead and uh, import some survey data. We'll create a new database here. We'll call it uh, Tuesday. And I uh, won't worry about the settings for right now. And then my source, I can select a number of different sources when uh, importing survey data. We'll just do points from my drawing select points from the current drawing, and then I'm just going to tell the system we'll grab all of them for right now. So it's going to grab all my points, move those into my survey database. The key, his, key here is we're going to want to put them in a network. So we'll create a new network. Sometimes networks will be created based on you know what was done on particular days. It's just a way of organizing the data that was collected. We'll call this uh, day one. We'll say OK. I'll select that, we'll say uh, next, and then my points coming in will be control points. I don't need to process line work. Basically, I'm just adding the points themselves to the survey database, and I'll click finish. All right, in doing so, I see the network is created. I've got a warning here that uh, says it uh, needs to be updated, so we've created it and added some points. We'll go ahead and right-click on that and update the network. And then from there, what we can do, the whole purpose of having this in the survey database is I can now go to that network, right click, and there's an option that we can access the survey command window. Um, when we deal with a lot of surveyors, they're used to working with command line driven uh, languages when doing things like inversing between two points. And uh, the survey command window that we can access through the networks will um, facilitate their ability to do that. So the uh, command that we would type in is INV uh, PTS, and then we give it points numbers, uh, the first one and the second one. So that was points 1437 and 1260. And when I hit enter, it'll automatically compute that, give us our distance and our, uh, our bearing. At the same time, if we don't want to have everything totally command line where we're typing it in, I do have the ability through some of the drop downs that I can perform a similar operation uh, inverse between points. And I could say in this case, maybe uh, 1438 and 1260 and we'll say OK. All right, so very similar to the tool that we looked at before, whether we're working with Kogo points or survey points, there are a number of options for doing uh, inversing between them. In other words, determining the bearing and the distance between two of those points. 
Um, probably the most convenient one is using the inquiry tools we looked at initially. However, if you're someone who is more um, uh, used to working with a command line driven interface, the survey command window within the survey database and dealing with a network gives you the option that you can inverse points that way as well. So um, once, once again, like I said, this is a base um, Kogo functionality that a lot of folks are always asking about, specifically how do I inverse points or inverse between two points using Civil 3D. And we've looked at several ways that we can accomplish that. So I hope this helps, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. See ya.